What's up guys, my name is Aaron or Cosmo, and welcome back to another Overwatch video. So I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but we have a ton of nerfs and buffs coming from both the experimental card and from the pros we saw a few weeks ago, and also some of the ones I know none of you were expecting this one, the April Fool's patch, and the biggest one, in my opinion, being D.Va. Now enough rambling, let's get straight into this because there are changes to 8 heroes today. I want to start off with what my opinion is the most important one. Very, I know I said before biggest one being D.Va, but this one is the most important one in my opinion, being Baptiste. So his projectile explosion of his heals is reduced from 60 to 50, but his direct impact now does an additional 20. This makes it so it's harder to heal without a direct shot with Bap, and I think this is a really really good change because the community has been asking for Bap changes for a while. But I know what most of you are going to say, that's not what they've been asking for changes with. Along with that, Immortality now gets a nerf, and this is going to be that the health threshold goes from 20% to 10%, and this is a great change, I love it. A lot of people wanted Baptiste Immortality to get nerfed, because they say it's the best ability in the game next to Rez, it's basically an ult, and I have to say I kind of agree, so yeah, there's Bap's changes. We also have a pretty big diva change that I mentioned before from the April Fools update, now if you don't remember, her calm mech now does 250 damage, can one shot most DPS now, I don't really know how I feel about this. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing some good clips with this and grav. They don't mention the radius in this, but it can't be too big. We really just need to see how this plays out in comp to see it in action. But uh, I'm really actually, I'm actually super excited to see that in comp because I feel like there's going to be some funny clips. <laughs> Next up is an Echo nerf. When her duplicate ends, now Echo returns to the health she had before using the ability, so no longer full health, and if she's under 100 health, it just goes to 100. Good change, I like it. I think this was definitely needed. Echo has been overtuned for a while now, so yeah, I think it's important that we keep her a little bit more balanced than she's been. We also have a Moira buff, and her biotic orb cooldown has just been reduced from 10 to 8 seconds. I don't think this will change anything. Moira is still pretty dog shit, if I'm being honest, but we're getting there. We're getting there. One day, I'm confident that we're going to get a good Moira change, and it's not just going to be complete duty still, because she's been, she's been really bad for a really long time now, so I, I really hope we actually get something good. Arisa's halt also got a buff. Her cooldown is reduced from 8 to 6 seconds, once again like Moira. I don't think this will make too much of a crazy impact, but speaking about impact, I do not like this next change. <laughs> this next change is given to Ryan. Now, and he's lost 50 armor. I don't know how I feel about this. To be honest, I'm pretty much a slave to the Ryan Zarya meta because it benefits a lot of the heroes I play. So I don't like seeing Ryan get nerfed, but there's nothing I can really do about it. So I guess I just gotta read it and weep. Now, I'm even more sad about this one because Hog just got a buff. Yeah, fun. <laughs> His projectiles now do 6.6 .6 damage instead of 6, but who cares about numbers? That was it for nerds. Blizzard just likes to make us DPS mains suck Hog's cock every few fucking months for some reason. Because every other season, ever I'm about to go on a little rant here. Every other season, Blizzard just loves to make Hog like the best hero in the game. And I don't know how much this is going to impact him, but last time his damage went up this much, he was meta for practically the entire season, so I, I'm assuming this is something to do with Overwatch League and like all the new, all these new changes coming in for Overwatch League. But I just don't like Hog meta. It's just bad, and you know why I really hate Hog. There's there's nothing else. Like I said, slave to Ranzaria. That's it. I, I'm done talking about Hog. I don't even want to think about this anymore because I'm crying just thinking about it. And lastly, in this giant flurry of buffs, we have a Sombra buff. She now gets out of her stealth quicker in about half the time and goes a little bit faster, so that's always nice to see. I like to see Sombra buffs. She's fun to play, but uh, not so fun to play against. I don't really know. It's really only good Sombras that suck to play against. Bad Sombras are like really funny to go against because you just have to watch them try and get value, and they're just like terrible <laughs> at it. Let me know what you guys think of all these buffs and nerfs in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like, it helps the channel out a lot. And if you want more gaming content and news, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you can see all my videos when they first come out. Also, if you want a shout out at the end of the video, leave a comment down below and you can get picked for that. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.